Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we are looking at the new Electron strategy. That's what it's being called. It is the clone spell battle blimp filled with an electro dragon and a balloon, which clones into a lot more balloons. And it is crushing Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, any Town Hall level that you have that um, battle blimp. This strategy is insane. I'm a little bit late, I'm getting this video out there. I know it's been a thing for a little while now, but I um, wanted to wait and get some good replays for you guys. Um, the strategy is, I guess, relatively simple. You send in, um, it's almost like the Sui Battle Blimp, just filled with all balloons that we used to see here and there. You can do the heroes before or after, typically after though, to kind of clean up and use that path made by it as a funnel. Um, this first one is a Town Hall 12 attack we're taking a look at by Surge. We'll look at Town Hall 11s and Town Hall 10s as well today. Um, but basically, you typically going to have one to two clone spells. I think two is maybe a little bit more common, plus a Rage. So that's a big spell investment. That's what, um, six, eight spell space right there, just in the, um, just for that one Sui blimp, but you're gonna clone the balloons, you're gonna get a bunch of balloons out of it. I, I, I don't know the exact numbers, but like at Town Hall 12, you're getting like 10 balloons or something, all maxed level, of course, raged up, and uh, they're gonna crush the core of the base if done correctly. Then you Sui the heroes, and it should just be a pretty simple Lalo for the rest of the base here. Now, um, that Town Hall actually stays up longer than expected, and right here takes out like all the balloons. That was crazy. Um, he just didn't have the warden there. The warden stuck back with uh, the minions and the lava pups, which is, um, of course, his job. You know, he's not supposed to use his tome for anything useful. Um, I think the tome is actually used towards the end here. Maybe it's just swagged. Um, yeah, there's the tome for those pups. Good value. Um, that's how you want to try to use it, guys. Actually, a troll test as well. Good thing there wasn't like a red air bomb. That could have made things a little trickier. Um, although I think that the Warden can almost outrange the Tesla, which is kind of weird. Not sure about that. Um, next one, also Town Hall 12 attack. This one was very nice. Um, once again, though, two clones, one rage. At Town Hall 12, that leaves you five other spell space to mainly just use as hastes. I mean, you got to have hastes for your Lalo, even if it's not that much you're going to use. But the idea, let me pause for a second, is you have to, of course, come opposite the side of the town hall. And right now, base builders are typically putting the queen, maybe an inferno tower. Uh, doesn't have to all be clumped together either. I mean, the electro dragon and these balloons have pretty good range. Um, there's enough that you're dropping in the base that it can, it can get a little bit of a distance out from the drop point. So you don't have to be dead on getting like a ton of value right where it drops out. You just want to try to get into an area where there's a lot kind of within the, the general area. Right here, clones are down. Look at all those balloons just rushing out different directions. Um, the Electro Dragon, of course, gets insane value on the uh, bounces. I mean, it can not completely take out defenses, but it makes them very low. Like these Expos, half hit points, maybe even a little bit below half. Um, plus the CC troops are pretty much dealt with right there. Um, so it makes it easy for your heroes because that's basically one side of a little bit of a mini funnel for your hero walk. Then the heroes can just kind of continue, get some good value on the outside of the base. In this case, he gets the Tesla farm in like Wizard Towers, Expo. Great, great value on this Sui. I mean, all that's left up on this base is that top region, which is very manageable because there's two air defenses, good anchors for the Lava Hounds, the tank, um, as well as... Uh, the eagle, some expos, but all very manageable, and it's all very good pathing, which is maybe the most important thing. Now you'll notice, um, it seems like a lot of troops have been deployed, but that was just his CC and a lot of his spells and his heroes. I mean, really no troop space has been used. So look at how many balloons. We have two hounds and 36 balloons. Uh, an insane number of balloons. So that's the thing, when you're bringing two clone spells, it feels like you have an awful lot of troops because you can just uh, just pack that Lalo, even though you've already taken out a huge chunk of the base. So right here, all these balloons piling in, the Warden has no choice but to follow them because there's just so many of them. And um, he's gonna, of course, save that uh, Warden's ability for the Town Hall region. Um, these hastes just help to move the balloons through. And then right here, um, make sure the balloons are in range. Boom, pops the ability. And most of those balloons are fine. Overwhelms it. I mean, with 36 balloons, 
it just not many of them are dying. Uh, so they do end on some splash damage here, which is kind of unavoidable, but um, there's just way too many balloons for the defenses to handle. So that's pretty much it. What you want to look for is just good value where you can send in the blimp opposite the town hall. And I'm sure people are going to start putting seeking air mines. I mean, it's not that difficult of a defense if you're really trying to defend it because um, let's move to town hall nine or sorry, town hall 11 one. Um, because what you're, all you have to do is just put some seeking air mines in these locations, I guess, opposite the town hall where it's likely to be used. I mean, you can kind of see in this base, uh, you have the Eagle, the Queen, Inferno Tower. This is like an obvious drop space right here. Just a ton of value, nice and compressed in that area. So uh, Dragon plus all those uh, cloned loons are going to get some great value. And um, you, you just got to put a Seeking Air Mine right before um, they want their actual blimp to drop. If you make it drop early, um, that, that, can get, that can be very effective for a, a defender. So keep that in mind for base builders out there. Um, right here, I mean, doesn't even look like a lot, but the the combination of the E Dragon and the balloons gets that entire side of the base taken out. And then um, one other thing is, I think in the first attack, the CC almost got taken out as well. But all that matters is the air targeting stuff. As long as you keep your heroes away, they won't draw out the, the potential Lava Hound or Valks or whatever ground stuff might be in the CC. Um, so like if a baby dragon comes out, typically it'll get wrecked by the E-Dragon, so you don't have to worry about that. It's a, it's a nice combination. The balloons are very important, um, as they have been traditionally in these Siri Battle Blimp attacks, but the thing the E-Dragon adds is some extra range, um, the ability to take out air traps, the queen, uh, CC troops, stuff that the balloons wouldn't otherwise target, and quite a bit of power, especially as you go down to Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 10, that E-Dragon gets just more and more powerful as the defenses get lower level. Uh, so right there, very good value. Um, was trying to get that Queen as part of the Sui, but doesn't necessarily happen there. I love that one <laughs> balloon that got in the Warden's ability. The Wardens are just crazy on air, I feel like. Uh, but he sends in like all his minions and they target the Queen, which is good. So that works out. Um, Lava Hound up top is going to pop, but ooh, that was weird. Um, but the king is still alive, helping with cleanup. That's always nice. And even though it's a little bit awkward here as everything is kind of clumped up, gets the job done. Nice attack to Zetsu um, as the king fights through those Lava Pups up there. And we will continue on uh, to the next attack. Um, one more Town Hall 11 one. Or what, do we have one more? Was that... I thought I had another one. Yeah, I do. Um, number 14. This is probably my favorite attack of the ones we're going to see today. This just completely crushed the base. Another thing is the air sweepers can actually push the blimp back pretty effectively because obviously you can't hasten your battle blimp. So keep that in mind as well. But one thing I loved is, is as you can see here, if he deploys the blimp over at 3 o'clock, um, there's an air defense that likely has seeking air mines by it. Um, there's just a lot of damage, the air defense, the single inferno, he's going to have to, um, his battle blimp, whether he likes it or not, is going to deploy early. So this is a variation that you can do, um, where you just do a Sui hero, and I like how he spent a little more troop space and just got that funnel nice and, uh, deep, that way, um, these uh, buildings back here aren't going to be an issue. That way he ensures his king and queen go the right way around the base because the value from these heroes is insane. This little bit of like dead space that the defender put here where the expos can't reach anything really. Um, I mean, they kind of can, but they don't do much. And um, just everything being set back by that little moat, that makes it really nice for the value from the king and the queen. They're going to get all the way around here. Um, the queen is able to save her ability because she steps out of range again. And I mean, look at, this was like what, a few giants, a few wizards for the funnel, then the heroes, and they just walk around this base. It's crazy. Uh, pops the queen's ability in just a moment here, but she got some insane value. And then here we go with the uh, the battle blimp. Now there's not much to target it. I mean, a seeking air mine would be unfortunate, but he keeps it away from where that air defense used to be. Clone spells down ahead of time, uh, based on where the balloon's gonna drop. And uh, actually what happens, the balloon dies, but these level five clone spells, I, um, 
I think are able to clone E-drags. I mean, I guess they are. There you go. That's your evidence. Um, I'm not sure the exact capacity, but it must be just around 30. So he actually ends up getting three E-drags instead of all those balloons. The balloons would have been more effective. That's typically what you're trying to clone is the balloon. Um, and I'm not sure the details, like is it? do you sometimes accidentally clone your E-drag? Uh, don't look at me. I don't know if you can stack clone spells either, if they can... Um, like if it's maybe only like 25 is the cloning ability, but if you have two down at the same time, then it'll clone your E-drags. I don't know. I, I mean, two E-drags were cloned, so that's 60 right there. Uh, must be capable for a one clone spell to clone one E-dragon. Who knows? But the point is, you got to be careful to some extent that you don't clone the E-drags because I think the value was a little bit less, but still, look at how crushed the space was. That's why I loved it. Had a swag... Uh, haste, a swag heal, a swag warden's ability. Um, this is, I think, more powerful as you go down to Town Hall. I think Town Hall 11 is the most powerful, personally. Because um, you have the warden's ability for what otherwise you typically are going to use it in the core for that difficult area. But now you're taking out that difficult area with your um, Battle Blimp and Cloned Balloons and Electro Dragon. So... The Warden's ability, it almost feels like a dip attack the way you get to use it. Um, let's take a look at one Town Hall 10 one as well. Um, it, this has been very effective at Town Hall 10, don't get me wrong. Um, I might have forgot to write down, I thought I had two Town Hall 10 attacks. I was going to show two of each, but now that I look at it, I only have one. So we'll have to cut it short a little bit. But this shows another variation. Um, apply everything we've seen before to Town Hall 10 though. Um, it is the same strategy, just shifted down uh, a few Town Hall levels. But um, once again, you're not going to get quite as much from the clone spell. And I think, did he only bring one clone spell or two? Um, I don't want to do the math here, but you don't always have to bring uh, two if you're just trying to get a little bit of a smaller value. And I say Town Hall 10, we see people, because of somewhat limited spell space, only bringing one clone spell, you still can get... Um, I don't know, maybe like four balloons from it, something in that range. Uh, then you drop the rage as well, of course, on those balloons. But then uses a golem, not the Sui heroes, but a golem. As he turns the corner here to get that extra value from his heroes, there was a, a wall breaker idea, which I really liked here to get the queen and maybe even like the king or something to go into the base and get those expos. I thought that was very clever, but it just doesn't work out. Still going to get decent value though from the heroes. And then here comes the Lalo. Um, once again, you're surprised by the troop space every time um, because it you're, you're creating troop space with the clone spell. And if you bring two of it especially, that's a lot of extra troop space you're adding. Uh, so we have three Lava Hounds rushing through, but still has a ton of balloons. I mean, it just seems like this attack, you always seem to have more troops and even more spells than you think is possible at Town Hall 10. So it has this nice heal for the back end, for the Tesla farm and everything. The King is still up. The Golemites are getting insane value there with the tanking on those Teslas and everything. Uh, so great, great attack there to uh, this attacker. And uh, we will wrap up the video here. Wish I had some more Town Hall 10s. Maybe I'll make another video on it later. But that's the basics, guys. If you're trying to defend it, use those Seeking Ermines. Force the early Battle Blimp drop. Um, that's going to be one of your best bets rather than trying to def to create a base that doesn't have a whole lot of value in the core because that's much more difficult to do. Um, I'd say just try to anticipate where the attacker is coming from and uh, use those seeking air mines accordingly. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.